Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I will show you a quick and easy way to create tattoos for the MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5.6. As always, without any paid software like Substance Painter or Photoshop. So let's start. First we create a MetaHuman character. For this tutorial let's use one of the preset models. Maybe all endo. Go to the hair and cloth tab and double click on the default garment to remove it. Then download the textures in your desired resolution and create a full rig. Then assemble the character. In the content browser go to the MetaHuman folder and inside the body folder of your MetaHuman double click the skeletal body mesh. Then click on make static mesh. So we don't need to mess around with the skeleton in Blender. Right click on the static mesh, asset action and export. In the export settings, we don't need vertex color, LODs, collision or morph targets. You can deselect all and hit export. Next step is to export the base color texture of the body mesh. Go to the baked folder. Right click on the T body BC texture, asset action and export. OK. Open up Blender. Import the MetaHuman FBX file we just exported from Unreal Engine. Switch to Viewport Shading. Select the body mesh, go to the Material tab and click on the little yellow dot next to Base Color. Choose Image Texture. Click on the folder icon and import the T-Body BC texture we just exported from Unreal. The MetaHuman base color map has a 2K resolution, even if you downloaded the 8K textures in the Creator plugin, because it's just a less important color information layer. But our tattoos could look a bit pixelated, because the 2K texture is stretched over the complete body. So I recommend to use a higher resolution texture for our tattoos. Click on this icon and switch to the image editor. From the drop-down menu choose the body texture we just imported. Go to the image menu and choose Resize. Change the resolution to 4096 times 4096 and click Resize. Now we can switch back to the 3D viewport. Switch from Object Mode to Texture Paint. Go to the Texture tab and hit New. Click on the folder icon to import your tattoo. I made a couple of tattoos with free AI image generators like DeepAI or Canva. Images with transparent or white background works the best for this method. Now switch to the Tool tab and go to Textures. Change the mapping to Stencil. If you now hover over the viewport, your tattoo will show up in the lower left corner. Change the paint color to white and blending mode to multiply and strength to 0.75. But you can play around with these settings. OK. With right click and hold in the viewport, you can move around your tattoo. With control right click you can rotate it. And with shift right click you can scale it. Find a nice spot to place it. And just paint with the left mouse button over the skull to transfer it to the skin texture. By clicking the X you can deactivate the stencil. Let's do another one on the back. Click on New. Go to the Texture tab 
and import another image. It's already set to stencil. So you just have to place it and transfer it by painting over. Because we use the multiply mode, everything white in your image will turn transparent. To export our tattooed skin texture, just go to the texture editor again, click the image menu and choose Save As. Back in Unreal Engine, import the created skin texture. If you follow along, please wait a second and watch the next step first, because there's something I have to show you. If you open up your MetaHuman character, remove the rig to get access to the materials, in the Materials tab you can check Enable Texture Override. By hitting the plus button in the body section, you can import our new texture to the slot. But, as you can see, the blending between the head and the body mesh is not working correctly anymore. And the second problem, if you assemble a MetaHuman with a material override activated, our texture automatically will be scaled down to 2K and the quality of our tattoos is getting low. So, the better way to finish this is to change the texture after assembling. Go to the body folder of your MetaHuman and double click on the skeletal mesh. Double click on the material instance Body Baked. Go to Baked Inputs and drag and drop our new skin texture to the base color slot. Now we got no blending issues and high quality to choose for our MetaHuman. Our texture works on every MetaHuman you create with the same skin tone. That's the only parameter you have to choose before creating the tattoos, because the skin tone is baked into our texture. And of course, the same method works for the head mesh as well. That's it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful. Leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. Cheers!